Hey traders, this is Ron Haight. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. As always, nothing in this presentation shall constitute a recommendation to buy or sell any security trading stocks and options involves risk and specific financial issues. You should always be addressed to your financial advisor. Markets were mixed today, but the Dow was up 0.83%, new all-time highs. The IWM was down about a half percent, and the spiders were up 70 cents or just under one quarter percent. Bulls have the edge on SPY, diamonds, and Qs. Take a look at some other stocks. UNH healthcare stocks were in the news today. I was reading an article and they're talking about some kind of middleman rebate um, that was going to be taken away, but now it's going to be kept. Bottom line is stocks like UNH, Cigna, Humana, some others, they're all ripping. Um, United, Her United Healthcare, it does show that they have earnings in 715, but this was a pre-earnings jump on that news. UNH finished near the highs of the day. There's a double top at 270. Yeah, the end of January, middle of February, then the target would be up here. But even though it's it's gunning higher, running higher already, earnings a week less than a week out could cause you know a reversal potentially. Here's Cigna. They were up nine percent, but way off their highs. They were actually above the 200 day. Their target would be up here, sort of near that double top at 200. And then Humana could not get above the 200. If it does, we go right back up to 310. Delta had earnings. I'm a Delta flyer, so I'm a loyalist in that sense. Um, I always have good results generally with them as, as a flyer, but the stock, really, really good. They announced that the last quarter they didn't have to basically kick anybody off due to overbooking, essentially. Earnings were up. They're, they're really rocking. They're the most technologically advanced of the U.S. carriers, whether it's the app or booking and so forth. Right now, they're running a tight ship. The stock... If I go back and look at all the data, which I could, we're at all-time highs, essentially. But if you look at this high right here from November 30th, the intraday high on December 3rd was 60.28. We're essentially right there. I would say this. If we close around 61, it's a clean breakout. I know we have a high wave doji on big volume. That can be a sign of reversal. But given that we're at all-time highs, big volume, it didn't reverse hard. This is still bullish. So Delta might be poised to soar, pun intended. Speaking of soaring stocks, I just held a see which stocks are set to soar for the summer event, right? You guys attended, you registered, you maxed out again. And remember when I told you guys about NASDAQ, we had, a, we had an event on 628. The very next day to trade was Monday, July 1st. This thing was up as of yesterday, just a long call at the money in September, 112%. Today it tacks on practically another buck. Then... I just talked about CRM a couple days ago, also breaking above the 50-day, and now it just tacks on another one. It just keeps working. I'm going to see if I can get some time. Maybe next week we can have one more event before the end of the month. I plan to take some time off, so I'm trying to figure out how this is going to play out. These seasonal stocks just keep rocking, just like I showed you last week when we talked about Expedia. Remember, I talked about watching at the end of May, beginning of June. It explodes higher. How about Pod? This little turkey added almost another two bucks today. This one was actually from here was going up when the S&P was going down and it still went higher. Under Armour had a really nice pop. And I think there was, there was a fourth one. I can't even think of the name right now. It just keeps working. So keep an eye out. I'll see if we can get another event scheduled next week. One other stock, WW. Here's Weight Watchers. Remember this one? I said keep an eye when it closes above the May 3rd, closing high at 22.96. That happened today. We were at 23.67. Volume picked up. We closed near the highs of the day. Target is now a gap fill. This is purely technical, nothing fundamental, just on the charts. Not bad. Still maybe six bucks plus higher. I would consider a 20-day EMA as an end-of-day trailing stop. Maybe even move into an eight, the number eight day EMA as well. That's it, folks. Nice short video. Have a wonderful Friday and a great weekend ahead.